Hey viewers, welcome to another game of the Casual Pro Gamer. And before we continue, let me just say I am the worst commentator in the history of the game. I have no knowledge of the game and you would rather mute this stream than or this video than actually listen to me. So now that we're all done with that, you don't have to put it in the comments. And we continue. Today we are playing with Froggen and we're going to play Zerath. So yeah, I'm just doing some preemptive um, anti-commenting because, uh, well, every game that I do from a high ELO player, uh, people leave comments like that all the time. Not just like once, no, like one in every three comments is like that. And yes, I do realize that uh, you are all such pros that um, yeah, I, I, yeah, I, I just can't go up against that. I know. Hang on, <laughs> holy crap, four man gang mid, and yeah, this is uh, going to uh, warrant a recall <laughs> straight up. <laughs> oh man. Uh, so yeah, wow, he has twenty five ping. That is pretty impressive. That is pretty impressive. Anyhow. We are going to help with the uh, the jungle because he's duo queuing here with Snoopy, as you can see, who is uh, playing jungle Nasus. Of course, it doesn't really matter what you do in the jungle; you can uh, you can pretty much go for whatever you want. And we are going to uh, to help out here a little bit. But man, that gang level one that was uh, pretty strong, picking up one of the minions for gold steel. Now there you go, helping out with the blue a little bit. Of course, the top laner nowadays uh, helps way more with the uh, with the blue pickup than they used to, for the very simple reason that now the uh, the pulling doesn't work anymore, which is which is nice. I mean, it allows the uh, the minions to defend themselves a little bit better, and it well just makes for more logical gameplay. Anyhow, we are up against Zed. Well, I didn't recognize I have to be honest, but yeah, I can look at the minimap and just see who it is. And oh, lots of damage going on. And wow, just early first blood here. Two minutes in and we already have first blood, which is excellent. It promises to be a better game than not a GG game from yesterday. By the way, I'm once again trying to uh, to get this out in higher quality than normal, which means 1080p. And yesterday I uploaded it in 720 because, uh, well, uh, the upload is still going to be 720 because 1080 takes twice as long to upload, probably more, but the file size is twice as big. And well, YouTube has some trouble with, uh, with large file sizes, which is why I tend to not use them. Holy crap, why did he flash in there? There was no way he could get that, but he might actually, wow, get a free kill here. Are you kidding me with this? That should have been an easy kill for Zed, but instead he just completely screws up. <laughs> oh my God. Yeah, and pushing the, the wave into the tower. So I'll already up two and zero, even though he uh, kind of, yeah, overextended with that flash, he, uh, he's still fine. No problem. And we are going to go in with uh, now Boots, the Chalice of Harmony and some nice, well, everything. There you go. Uh, the, yeah, lots of potions, one ward. One ward is enough to uh, to ward your lane, obviously, because uh, you ward one side of the lane, one side of the bush, uh, or one bush in, on one side of the lane, and then you can, if you stay close to that side, you can basically never get uh, get hit by a, a jungler. So Zed's still very aggressive, but cannot really be aggressive anymore. He's two kills behind. He's a lot of items behind, and that means that. Uh, He's going to have to be careful. And that may actually become a, a double kill here for for Cho'Gath. But then again, the Akali might actually pick up that kill as well. But yeah, Cho'Gath is more regen, I guess. Although, 
I can't, can't really complain about regen either. And are we going to go top lane to finish a kill? Might actually be. So warding one side of the lane, as I said. It's not uh, really the side of the lane in this case. It is... Uh... Oh, 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 oh. Bye-bye. <laughs> Nicely done. It, uh, it required three champions to be there. Because Akali, with her invisibility, was of course uh, hard to chase down, but <laughs> very nicely done. Getting some damage here on Zed, and actually getting the stun on Zed. And he does have an ultimate, so bye bye. How you doing? Yeah, that was an easy kill. So uh, Zed, so far behind now, four kills behind, but also died three times out of those four. So um, yeah, he's going to not only be behind in kills because, well, Zed is of course incredibly fed by now. Uh, he's also just, yeah, out of the lane for so long that he doesn't really have minions. So he's also pretty far behind on minions. And all in all, yeah, what are you going to do about that? I mean, there isn't a whole lot you can do about that, except maybe get some support from someone to... Um, to assist in killing your mid laner. And wow, that guy actually got out. And yeah, it's seven and one, wow. Yeah, they're doing a lot better here than uh, the Hotshot GG yesterday, but <laughs> it's still going to be, a, uh, or it, at least it seems to be that it's going to be a very quick game and a very, uh, well, damage heavy, kill heavy game. But we're going to have to see. It's mostly the mid laner that's screwing up, of course. And he almost has his um, his ultimate back up. But not enough mana to do anything there. Yeah, that's unfortunate. Well, you can't always have all the mana available, of course. But he does have Chalice of Harmony, so the mana will be there pretty quickly. Especially if you are low mana. And here we go. Getting the slow off, getting the stun off, and are we going to land anything else? Oh, he is getting, he's, he's going pretty low here. But yeah, the other two guys can finish off that kill. And, oh, no, 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 I want that. I'm not using his ultimate though. Snoopy picks it up. Nicely done. They, uh, they were just all there, and uh, I guess they know that as long as they can keep Zed away from any type of farm he's going to be completely useless late game because he's already so far uh, well behind and since I was trying to come in but not actually managing to do so getting baited into uh, chasing there a little bit but <laughs> oh. and we are going just for the I for the AP items here no problems no problems yeah, really, he has no problem at all doing anything, it seems. And just, yeah, the great play that we're used to uh, from him. But also, yeah, the Zed kind of messed up. So I would have liked to see a game where Zed didn't completely mess up. But yeah, well, there's nothing we can do about that. We can only just see the good plays here. And uh, obviously, well... We, we saw those. I mean, especially that gank in top lane. Yeah, that was pretty cute. And once again, getting the stun thing on him, but not actually having the stun of, uh, or the second skill available that you need for that. But he does get the kill, so yeah. Yeah, no. There's Zin. They, they warned him for that, but uh, since I was not too much of a problem now. As long as he has mana, and he doesn't, but as long as he has mana, he should be able to uh, to escape from that. Because then you can stun him and just walk out. Since it's not extremely fast, he normally just jumps in and kills you. And if you can run away from him, you should be able to, well, just avoid kill uh, getting killed. Come on guys, kill him already. Okay, <laughs> both of them wanted to get that kill. And here Zed not doing a whole lot of damage, but still a significant amount of damage. Zed would have gotten the kill there. 
Oh, Akali is going to grab the kill now. Yep, there we go. Akali does grab the kill and now it's 10 to 3. But yeah, well, 10 to 3 is still not a big deal. But very nicely played from the enemy team. At least they paid attention to uh, to the low champions there. And wow, Vygar actually getting a double kill there. Nicely done, nicely done. First killed the Lulu and then killed the uh, Caitlyn straight afterwards. I know it's Caitlyn. Man, my niece is called Caitlyn. I should know that. <laughs> Uh, anyway, we um, um, we see uh, the, the Snoopy just picking up the blue buff. I don't know if he's going to give that to Zeroth. Yeah, apparently he is. And there we go. There we go. <laughs> nice amount of gold you get from those. It's, uh, even though it's not actually necessary to get gold from that, it's still a pretty nice amount. 70 golds. Which would be equal to about uh, three and a half minions. Which makes it definitely worth it picking that up. Anyhow, he gets uh, five out of the six minions out of that wave. That is plenty. He did not, of course, want to go for the sixth one. And yes, we can see you. The a shot, by the way, is a little bit longer than the arrow because the arrow is projected on the ground and the shot is in mid air. So even though it's, uh, it seems longer, it's not actually longer. At least that's the way it should be. Maybe they drew the arrow just a random uh, amount. That could be it as well. But normally that is the way it, uh, it's supposed to be. So it's kind of a perspective difference. And wow, just that Q is so strong. It just, it's up all the time and it just does so much damage to such a large area that I really don't understand why people don't play this champion more often. I mean, there are very few Z player, oh uh, sorry, Zeroth players in the game. Even though, in my opinion, he's a really good champion. He's just really, really fragile. And yeah, you kind of have to work with that. But yeah, preemptive... Uh, Q there wanted to make sure that if he came back that he would have gotten the kill and we're running out Zed is coming back in at low health but of course yeah now with backup and are we going to escape here yeah no problem for now but they're probably still there they probably still want something here it seems that um, they did realize that they were not going to get anything done. And oh, I thought he would run in, but he did see the Lulu. And Lulu, of course, can change the whole direction of the fight there. So good choice, good choice by, uh, by Zed. Just, well, running out, not going for the kill or not going for, well, any kind of harassment even. And are we going to escape this though? It is going to be close. No, it's not going to be close. Well, I don't know why the ultimate didn't do a, a lot of damage, but is, is Vygar... Oh, Vygar support, right? So yeah, he doesn't really have anything. It's support Vygar because otherwise he would be mid. Uh, I thought he uh, took over the kind of the role of AD carry in bottom lane, but that's not actually the case. He is actually a support Vygar. So his ultimate, yeah, it scales off of the AP of, uh, well, in this case, Zeroth, so the enemy. But yeah, that scaling isn't too hard. Uh, too hard. And um, yeah, he, uh, he does have some magic resist. So all in all, it's, uh, yeah, the burst is not that magnificent if you don't have AP on your own. I think it's like 40% of enemies. Uh, HP, uh, AP, sorry. I'm not actually sure about that. But yeah, the dragon goes down to uh, to us and that is excellent. 
because that means another 1000 gold for the team and are we go oh, I thought he might actually land a second stun but I guess he couldn't reach and that is of course unfortunate because well a second stun would have definitely done it and ultimate going off from Zed is he going to be able to survive nope 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 even the basic attacks are good enough now to finish it off <laughs> oh my god yeah Zerat is going pretty low every time so he does have to be careful and yeah of course they attempt at a gank once again and are they going to be able to get out no come on run away not again to the Akali nope not again to the Akali this time to the Tristana <laughs> Oh yeah, he ran in there, uh, being a little bit too low, and this might actually be a kill. No, wow, that did no damage. Huh, that really did no damage. But Lulu is still on the case and actually lands the kill. Nicely done. Wow, that was uh, that was impressive. Lulu normally not that high damage, but uh, yeah, she can do damage if she. Uh, if she gets some AP going or well even just penetration or something like that she can really do a lot of damage we've seen her in uh, in mid lane as well when she came out obviously she's not played a whole lot anymore but yeah that's the case with a lot of champions because yeah if you have a hundred to choose from then why would you go for the well for the weaker ones if you can also go for the really really strong ones and that's normally what happens. Oh, we actually saved. Oh my God. We actually saved them. This is just um, really, really good teamwork. And yeah, nothing else I can say about this. 21 to six. And yeah, we are currently nine to two. Uh, the two basically being twice uh, overextending twice and um, well actually he overextended a couple more times but yeah well he has been doing a very very decent job here <laughs> holy crap there's really nothing to be said for that um, yeah we are going to grab this blue buff and just uh, go back mid lane where we now have a Vigar Vigar who of course doesn't really have anything but yeah, well, that's the way it goes with supports. They don't really get a lot of gold. And so if you go, uh, yeah, with uh, carry into the support role, then yeah, what do you want out of that? I mean, you're not going to get anything out of that. Wow, Lulu picking up a kill again. But yeah, it was pretty low and now going to give back a kill. So we are warding up and attempting to get some minions or to get some damage on champions but not really managing to do so look at the speed the the cooldown uh, of, of that queue the, the speed with which that comes up again ah uh. so anyhow uh, it seems that well Chogat's in a little bit of trouble and by a little bit I mean a lot and might actually pick up a kill back here no 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 not gonna happen oh come on no no oh uh, once again we are in trouble here but this time he's not really overextending because the enemies cannot really engage him and he had a teammate coming up so it's all good yeah she's already out dude <sighs> unfortunate unfortunate but a very good engage once again they're going to pick up all of these minions and then just going to walk out has Snoopy died yet I don't think so I was just wondering because uh, well yeah he is of course pretty tanky uh, Nasus is pretty tanky you can pretty much build full uh, AP or, or sorry a magic resist and armor on him and then still yeah get a pre pretty decent amount of damage because it's all about the Q and once again we have Akali over here and Akali just really aggressive but she knows that she can take out the Xeroth and that is why she's taking out that role 
Oh, the nice dodge, but it's not going to matter. Still getting the kill. Double kill there for uh, Caitlyn. And everyone in the team seems to be doing well because it's 26 to 8. So there's no real room to feed if you have that kind of a score line. Because, well, if everyone dies once, you're already at 5. So, yeah. The 8 doesn't really allow for anything else. And it seems that the enemy is going to surrender right here. No? Okay. Well, they said GG. So I kind of assumed as much. But they're not go willing to give up yet. They might still get some kills out of this. But, yeah. Not today. Uh, not this fight, anyway. Caitlyn gets out of there. And Zerat is now the one that's lowest. But, yeah. Really well protected here by the team. Just excellent, excellent protection. Even got time to uh, to use the hourglass. And oh, 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 yeah, here we go. Uh, Vigar getting the kill, <laughs> but going to get killed as well. It doesn't even matter. 30 to nine. You can see if you pause the video right there that, uh, well, what the scores on other people are. <laughs> Holy crap. Oh. Yeah, it's the exact opposite of what we saw yesterday. Yesterday we saw a team that um, that was getting owned by the enemies. And here we see a team that's owning the enemies. It's pretty much one or the other most of the times. And that's why it's so hard to get like the nice games out. Uh, the nice games are the ones where it's, uh, it's completely equal. But there's really no way to search for those. Uh, if I compare that to Smite, in Smite you can... Before you download a replay or start a replay, you can see the total gold on both teams, the total kills on both teams. Um, yeah, things like that. You can see actually see a lot more. I kind of forgot. Uh, of course, the game length, things like that. But yeah, with streams, yeah, you're kind of stuck with what you get. So yeah, sometimes you get really, really good games. And most of the times you get these kind of games. Where either they get completely owned or they completely own the enemy team. Both of which are not like super interesting to watch. Because, well, we already know what's going to happen here. Uh, we already know they're going to win pretty easily. And yeah, there's like a 1% chance of them not winning this. And that, of course, would mean that it's a nice game to watch. But... To be honest, I'm not really too concerned about that. There's, uh, yeah, I haven't seen Froggen mess up anything yet uh, in this game or ever, I think. I, I don't think I've ever seen him mess up a game. So same goes for Snooper. I don't think I've ever seen him do well in the, in the early part of the game and then, yeah, mess it up later. And yeah, there you can see how easy it is to land kills now. Double wards. If one ward isn't enough. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, this is this is just plain over. Enemies should just surrender and um, and be done with it because there's really there's really nothing they can do. And yeah, they they know it. I mean, they know there is nothing they can do. <laughs> oh my god, Zed is so aggressive still, even though he probably can't even kill the Lulu one-on-one -on -one anymore. Um, well, if there is backup incoming. Because, well, you can, you can normally kill a support pretty easily by just nuking them down, but I'm pretty sure he can't do that even to the Lulu. Look at this, just still concerned with the minions, 160 minions now. And yeah, even though they completely won everything by now, I'm, uh, I'm sure he will just keep getting minions. Because he knows the importance of keeping that up. And wow, four guys going after that. The fifth guy, however, going for the Lulu kill and might actually pick that up. No, Lulu used her ultimate and is actually going to be safe. Wow. <laughs> Cute. Lulu is still uh, in the uh, in the fight though. Might still uh, still get killed, but we'll see. We'll see. For now, yeah, this should all be good. 
this should all be uh, be pretty easy clean up and well Lulu is still alive and Viker is not really nice eye there keeping an eye on who is low and who is uh, well available for killing <laughs> holy crap what you gonna do dude <laughs> yeah <laughs> nothing a colleague could do there she was just getting owned and yeah this is uh, going to be an easy kill as well and finally the surrender comes in 36 to 10 and yeah what what can i say i mean it was over very quickly especially after the feeding from uh, from zed one in 12 that's pretty pretty impressive so anyway hope you enjoyed and i will see you next time gg